a later start to the vlog today people look at that quarter past nine no kiddies here they're already in school don't even ask it's been one of them mornings well I say don't even ask I'm gonna tell you aren't I <laughs> so I don't know if you watched yesterday's vlog but you might have heard if you did you might have heard so say something about um, armed forces day you got to wear something camouflaged or camo well we hadn't heard anything and we looked all over the website couldn't find anything um, and then the kids kept going on about it this morning saying yes you have to dress up and you you take a pound in each to dress up and stuff and I was like I don't know so I looked high and low on the website couldn't find anything this morning and then I looked at um, what we what we call parent mail here and it, it has letters and when these parent mails are meant to come to Rachel's email but Rachel swears blind that she has not received it and apparently it was sent out on the 11th of this month saying yes they'd like children to dress up and donate a pound and so we was rushing about getting them dressed up because we didn't really have anything camouflage but as long as they was wearing the colours either like black green or whatever well Liam was all right because he had camouflage shorts and a t-shirt and that it was the two girls that didn't really have anything but in the end we we found them something to wear but we was late taking them to school we've only just come back so it's quarter past nine like I said We've only just come back, so there was like nearly half an hour late, really, being at school. But they weren't in trouble or anything, but it was just a hectic morning, wasn't it, Rach? Hey, eh? but Rach said, really, you know, she, she like she said, she didn't get the email, so really, they should still send letters out in their book bags and stuff, but they don't tend to. They just think everyone's got the internet in this day and age. Obviously, we have, but there's obviously some people out there that hasn't, who haven't, and they should receive letters. Now, I don't know if they do or not, but. Because we've got the internet, they probably think, well, you don't need letters. Because, you know, they try and save on paper and all that. But I don't know. Rach didn't get the email anyway. It's only because I searched through this parent mail online, logged into that and found it on that. But I had to go back a few pages to find it. So, otherwise, you see, if the kids... There'll always be some kids in the normal school uniform. But our kids, if they know everyone else is dressing up, they don't want to feel left out and I know what it can be like at school I remember back in the day on Sivvy's day when you could wear your own clothes if you didn't you went in school uniform you used to get picked on and bullied and all that sort of stuff and you just feel out of place anyway so but luckily we got there in the end but it's just a crazy morning so that's the end of that anyway so today I'm not sure what's going on for you not too much, I'm going to get myself a drink, ring mum and Bill, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Well, we're having a daily visit to Sainsbury's, I'm just going to get my ticket. I don't even know what we need, I think Rach just wants some deodorant and stuff, so... Is that right? Yes. So, that's it, quick in Sainsbury's today, done. Not too much in the basket as well, got my flavoured water, Rach has got a shampoos and shower gel. All good stuff. Not a lot going on today then guys, it's uh, 10 to 11 already, we haven't done too much, we was meant to be doing this and doing that and uh, yeah, it's with a bit of a stressful morning, we haven't bothered, Rachel's just going to make a few phone calls, got a few phone calls to make to the council, ask about a few things that we want doing or if we're allowed things to be done and stuff, uh, so let's just have a look out the window and have a look at the weather, I think the sun's trying to come out, it was raining this morning but it looks like it's uh, trying to brighten up anyway so yes not a lot to report today but glad it's Friday the good thing about the kids uh, going in their mother clothes to school today is that on Sunday I will not have any ironing or Rach won't have to wash these today with it being Friday oh, I'm meant to be carrying them upstairs I'm not doing too well here am I it's because um, They'd made it, they'd had the tea and that in their cl school clothes last night and made a mess. So we had to wash them, Rach did last night, and I had to iron them all this morning. So, and of course, with them not going in them, they don't need washing and they don't need ironing. So we're going to put these away for Monday. That's good, isn't it? Save me a job on Sunday. Oh, I do like this room. It looks so good. Can't wait to get the new curtains now, though, and the new bedding. <laughs> Rach just come up here to uh, sort all the clothes out that she got out this morning looking for stuff. And probably tidy their bedroom up a little bit, it's rather a mess. And it's started to rain. Yes it has. Right, just going to take this outside, this old computer and stuff, because all that's no good, getting rid of that. So at least we're getting something done now, Rach. Yeah? 
Yeah, look at him look. Sucking on that teddy. You're not a female dog, sweet. You're meant to be a butch male. Mmm. This is some rubbish that we're going to take to the skip sometime. We'll have to chuck the toaster out as well, because I don't know if I told you guys, but that no longer works either, so we need a new toaster. Ah, well, it's lasted quite a while, that toaster. It's normally um, kettles. We go through a lot of kettles and irons, don't we? Is it irons? Yeah. What else do we go through a lot of? I don't know. A lot of things. Oh, hoovers. A lot of things seem to damage with us. We're not too good with stuff. Since chucking the toaster outside, Rachel's had a little move about in the kitchen, nothing major. She's just put the bread bin over there now, where the toaster was. And she's put her um, wash powders and stuff in that corner now. And she's uh, sort of put the microwave on a tilt. Uh, well, I'm not too sure about. But, there we are. Just sort of share that with you. Right people, just had a phone call from the schoolie. Have to pick Liam up. He's been sick. So it doesn't surprise us because he's been complaining of his throat all week sort of thing and yeah, it was a bit well he's, he had a bad cough last night and this morning and um I said about him we mentioned about him not going to school, he said no I feel okay. But the reason he's been saying that is is because he's got a birthday party tomorrow and he doesn't want to miss out on that but yeah, we had a funny feeling this was going to happen, so that's where we're going. Go and pick little man up. Here he comes, look. Bless him. Oh, you guys didn't get to see what he went to school in, did you? There he is, look. I bet he was sick from running about, and then because he's always sick when um, when he's been coughing. He's coughing. Hi, mate. Where's you been running about and then coughing? And then sick. Uh, you're not very well. Doctor's later then, yeah? Oh. Is Lacey alright? Scruffbag's pleased to see you, mate, isn't he? Say hello to everyone. You haven't said hello today. Oh, uh, he's, he's chesty, aren't you? Very chesty. I can hear it. Oh, mate. Doctor's <laughs> later. Let's go and get you some medicine and the inhaler. Well, that was surprisingly quick for the doctors. Rachel just rang in, rang up, and they can get him, see him at Harper's Four today. So that's lucky. Normally can't get one. Can we get dressed, mate? Please, no, yeah, get you changed because it smells sick on you. Where you've been sick on your clothes. I'll go and get you some. So yeah, so I was gonna be going to mum's after school, but obviously I wouldn't have done now anyway. But Liam being like that, but I can't now because I've got to go to the doctors. So yes, yeah, so I best tell mum. Um, because she was going to do us all some tea and that, although I, I would, she'll, she knows that we've had to pick Liam up, so I should probably expect that we wouldn't be going there now anyhow, but yeah, you know, <laughs> God, it takes me ages to explain stuff, doesn't it? It's, I'm a bit, a bit slow. Well, Liam's just watching telly, and um, yeah, it's not much going on, so the weather can't make up its mind what it's doing today, one minute it's sunny, the next minute it's raining. It's actually raining again right now, so... Yeah, so I've just uh, watched a few vlogs and stuff, so... It's all good. Right, it's time for me to go and pick um, Safe and Lacey up. Liam's down there on his tablet. Don't matter how poor he is, he's still playing his Minecraft. Rach is going to um, wait here with him so I don't have to drag him outside. And then she'll have to rush off to work when I get back. See you later! See you in a bit! Bye! Just got back, here's Lacey. They're not Easter eggs, they're Kinder eggs. Yeah. Mummy got you on. Have a nice day at school. Was you alright without Liam? Yeah, you good girl now, aren't you? On the biscuit. Because that's what they've got given while I was at school. You missed out because you had to come home, didn't you? Cool. Nice day at school? Yeah. Yeah, did anyone say anything about you going late? No. no. Look, so late to everyone, didn't see you this morning, did they? Because he was rushing about. Look, I think I've got this painting thing where it's a paintbrush and, and then it's got a tent paint. Can I tell what I've got at school? Have you done fun things at school? No. Maths? Literacy. No, like, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Um, on RB. I'm practicing pool for sports today. Oh, yeah, you got your sports day on Monday, haven't you? Yeah, you're looking forward to it. My other teacher is going to be there, so it's my other one. All right. What I had today. How was it? Yeah. What about you, Lace? 
Yeah. Anything exciting? Like I know you like chocolate. I know that. So you haven't really got a lot to tell me then. They're a bit gutted that we can't go to Nanny's, but there's next week. And Jay's coming tomorrow, isn't she? <laughs> so yeah, it'd be nice to have Jay. I haven't seen her for a few weeks. So. <sighs> got an hour then until the doctors. So might put the kettle on, have a nice cup of tea before we go. And that's about it, I think. Mm, I'll empty the lunch boxes and wash them up, put them away. Yeah, and that's it. It's that time, yeah. Take Liam to the doctors, get him sorted. He doesn't seem too bad in his cell. You've done it for him. Definitely needs checking out. You've done it for him. Yeah. Okay, you've done yours. Done. Hey, put yours on lace. I can, I can do it. Safe okay. Here we are then. Are you ready? Daddy, this is where mummy been for her baby. When she comes for a checkup, she Daddy, actually does. there was this car, it literally bumped to your car. Yes, because she wasn't looking what she was doing. You ready, mate? Horrible weather, look. I'm scared even to go in there when I'm not poorly. Lean <laughs> can't <laughs> Just got back. Just going to let the scruff bag out. Not that you'll stay out there long because of the rain. It's just starting up again, the old rain is. So, Liam has got tonsillitis, they reckon. Um, even though he seems to have a bad cough, they didn't seem to make much of his cough. But looked in his throat and checked his temperature. He's got a bit of a temperature, so we've got to keep giving you cow pole, haven't we? And I've uh, been to the chemist already and picked up his antibiotics. Um, hopefully that will kick in and sort him out either way anyway. So, won't it? Mm? Go on, sit down then, mate. Dad, why did you put that old carpet out? Because we don't want it anymore. Come on in then, because you don't want to get wet, do you? Right, the kids, well, the girls are going to tidy up their mess for me Daddy, that they've made. And I'm going to put some tea on for the kids. Me and Rachel are going me and Rachel are going to have something later on, so I think we're just, me and Rachel are just going to have a sausage sandwich tonight, that's it. I'm going to cook these some chicken strips and some chips or something. And then also it's bath night, because I should have had a bath last night, but we was busy, weren't we? So they're going to have that tonight. So I'm proud of myself again today, you know, for taking Liam to the doctors. And I know a lot of you will look at me and say, don't be silly, he's your child, you should take him to the doctors when he's poorly. Yes, and obviously I'd push myself to do that when I have to, like today. But what I mean is normally Rach would do it is, you know, because I always feel like all this anxiety and stuff, normally like going to doctors or, and like going to the chemist to get his uh, medication. I feel all on edge, but I just have to push myself to do it, you see, because Rach wasn't there. But like I said, normally Rach is there with me and um, normally she'd do it, but you know, I'm proud of myself. I mean, a lot of people that don't understand that feeling, how it feels. I mean, a lot of people look at me. I know there's lots of you out there the same that agree with me and know how it how it feels like to take them steps. But people that don't understand, they like look at you and laugh at you and say, "How silly! Can you not go in the shop or take your son or daughter to the doctor with feeling like that, anxious and stuff?" It's hard for some people to understand, and I get that. And I wish I didn't feel like it, but what I'm, tr you know, I'm just trying to get to say I'm proud of myself that I did it. I mean, I would have done it anyway because I have to because it's my child and I don't want to see them get ill. But I'm just, yeah, you know, some of you know what I mean. Yeah, do you? Yeah. I don't know. I don't quite feel with it today, to be honest. Right, they've all had baths and they're just sitting down to their tea. <laughs> just eat what you can, mate. If you can't eat it, leave it, okay? Don't worry about it, okay you two? Yeah? I've got a cold. I know you've all got a cold. Do you love my dressing gown? It's very nice, sweetheart. <laughs> well, the sun's come out again now and it's very muggy and very warm. So we've tidied up a little and um, say everything's about done. So Rach hasn't got nothing to do when she gets home. And I think I'll put these sausages in a minute so that when she gets home she can have a tea straight away and then I'm going to run her a bath. Yep, I think that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Rach is home. I've cooked the sausages. She's just, uh, well, I've just, well, she's just cutting them up. Oh, I don't know. I can't even think today, do I? I can't spit my words out or anything. I know I can't most days, but all right at work. Yeah. Also, cook these chickens. These look good, so I'm going to have a piece of chicken with mine. <sighs> Safe did hoover up for me, but Lacey's made a terrible mess. Anyway, I'm going to go and have some tweet, guys. That's probably what's up with me. Well, tea was very nice, guys. I'm going to go for a bath now. And uh, then after I've had a bath, I'm going to take the kids to bed. You don't have to get to bed yet. This is my tent. 
Daddy so nicked it when I was a baby because I, Mummy, remember when I was a baby I had this in my cart. Oh, right, okay. Well, I'm off for a bath. And then no, kiss. I'll come up and say goodnight to you when I'm out of the bath then. Squeeze, cuddle. Oh, that was a big squeeze. Bye. Right then, little brown. Kiss. Good night. See you in the morning. Love you. Lacey. Kiss. Lacey. This is my time. Yes, sir. No, kiss. No, no, darling. Sweet cuddle. Love you. Night. Night. No, night, poorly man. Love you. See you in the morning. Got your bowl there to be sick if you need it. Okay? Daddy, please, can you move my bowl a bit further? A bit closer. There you go, mate. Okay. Love you. Love you. Night. Night. Radio, time for me to go and relax. It's Friday, it's Friday. Everyone loves Friday. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Yeah, it's felt a bit of a strange day, to be honest. I felt quite with it. Have you noticed? <laughs> anyway, have a wonderful weekend guys, take care and we'll see you tomorrow.